Hey guys, this is a pretty much straight out of the box review. We've got the Vox Dynamic Looper and I'm going to figure out what I can do with basically no looking at the manual or anything like that. First thing I notice is it starts you off on a beautiful overdrive. That's excellent. And also it seems you can change uh, your basic preamp sounds by simply turning the edit button. And we've got some wah pedals here. Very nice wah sounds, and there are several different ones. Modulations. Couple of kinds of chorus, flanges, phases, tremolo. These bass simulators are good. Couple of synth bases. Acoustic guitar simulators, pitch, minus 12 right up to plus 12, stutter effect, equalization, just has a number of presets. Delay, digital delay, analog delay, two kinds of each, and two kinds of tape delay. Reverb, hall reverb, room reverb, and spring. Then we got some sci fi sound effects. And a slow attack. All right, so as an effects unit um, in its own right, there's a, a pretty awesome selection of effects. So let's start with a clean wah sound. So I'm gonna uh, have a go at looping and see how good my timing is. So it's got auto record light on, that means it's gonna trigger basically when I start playing. All right. So my timing wasn't too bad there. Takes a bit of practice, of course. Um, moving on to the second effect here. When this red light's off, it's no longer controlling the preamp effect. It's gonna start controlling the pitch because I have pitch selected here. There are a whole range of other things like playing your loop backwards, you can crossfade between two loops, simply control the volume, change the speed, you can scrub through it very slowly as well using the expression pedal, and start a control again, more modulation effects, more filter effects. Uh, look, I haven't been through all that, I haven't learned all about it, but uh, what I have discovered is that this pitch control is really cool. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Done there is reveal to you what a tragically terrible guitarist I am. Anyway, the point is uh, you can set up a nice easy loop, control your pitch with it. Let's try controlling a few other things as we play. And my camera is running out of battery, so uh, we'll probably sign out shortly after trying out these effects. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. 
Could, fun could you have with this uh, with this loop within loop setting So obviously that needs a bit of fine tuning as far as establishing tempo goes and synchronizing with the stutter effect and the loop within loop effect, which is the one I finished on there. Um, there are a whole lot of other features as well. Uh, what I'm going to do though is just run you through what's on the back here. Uh, you've got an XLR socket, okay, so that's great if you want to do some vocals or run an instrument in through XLR, brilliant, with your trim control there, and in and output and then just your basic power. Okay, so it's a pretty simple unit, really. I don't think it would take too much to master this one, uh, but what I really love is this expression pedal. I know that there are plenty of loopers out there on the market, but right off the top of my head, I can't think of another one that has an expression pedal. I'm, I'm sure they're out there, but I can't think of one. And I think for dynamic performance, it's unbeatable and it's well worth the extra cash, as opposed to something that doesn't have any dynamics control. So that's a really quick introduction to the Vox Dynamic Looper.